Welcome to Quiz Time. I'm your quiz master, Sean, and I've got 100 questions for you about the baby boomers. Let's test our minds. Let's have some fun. And let's keep ourselves young together, shall we? And let's begin with question number one. Who organized the 1963 March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom? Was it Bayard Rustin? Was it Thurgood Marshall? Or was it organized by Malcolm X? And that was organized by Bayard Rustin. Who refused to give up her seat on a bus during the Montgomery bus boycott, 1955-1956? through 1956? Fannie Lou Hamer, Coretta Scott King, or was it Rosa Parks? That would be Rosa Parks. What event marked the beginning of the space race in 1957? Space flight? The Apollo 2 moon landing? Or the launch of Sputnik? It all started with the launch of Sputnik. What war lasted from 1950 to 1953? Was it the Vietnam War? Was it the Korean War? Or was that the Cuban Missile Crisis? That was the Korean War. What program made home ownership more accessible in the 1950s? Was it the GI Bill? Was it the New Deal? Or was it Social Security? And that would be the GI Bill. What allowed the recording and playback of audio on magnetic tape in the 1950s? Cassette tapes? Vinyl records? or reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. And that would be reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. Who was the creator of The Twilight Zone? Was that Steven Spielberg? Was it Rod Serling? Or was it Alfred Hitchcock? The creator of The Twilight Zone was Rod Serling. What music genre is Elvis Presley most famous for? Rock and roll? The blues? Or jazz? Elvis Presley is most famous for rock and roll. What was the name of Lucille Ball's production company? Lucy Entertainment? Ball Studios? Or Desilu Productions? She owned Desilu Productions. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibits discrimination on the basis of what? Political affiliation, race, color, religion, sex, or national origin, or socioeconomic status. Race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. Who was the first person to walk on the moon? Taking a small step for himself and a big one for mankind, that was Neil Armstrong. Who were the Soviet missiles? Where were the Soviet missiles discovered in 1962? Were they discovered in Cuba, North Korea, or were they discovered in Vietnam in 1962? They found him in Cuba. Who was the male lead in Giant? Humphrey Bogart, Rock Hudson, or Clark Gable? The male lead in Giant was Rock Hudson. What was Elvis Presley's first hit song? The first one. His first hit song was, That's All Right. What economic model gained prominence during the post-World War II period? Was it Marxism, 
Was it laissez-faire capitalism or was it Keynesian economics? It was laissez-faire capitalism. What famous catchphrase was associated with the show, The Twilight Zone? To infinity and beyond, beam me up, Scotty. Submitted for your approval. Submitted for your approval. Who wrote On the Road? J.D. Salinger, Jack Kerouac, or Allen Ginsberg? On the Road was written by Jack Kerouac. What was Muhammad Ali's birth name before he changed it? His name was Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr. The economic prosperity of the 1950s and 1960s was often referred to as the golden age of was it television, exploration, or capitalism. It was the golden age of capitalism. What law in 1965 aimed to help African Americans vote freely? The Voting Acts Right of 1965, the Civil Rights Act of 1965, or the Fair Housing Act of 1965. It was the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Who was the first human to orbit the Earth in 1961? Was it John Glenn? Was it Yuri Gagarin? Or was it Neil Armstrong? The first human to orbit the Earth in 1961 was Yuri Gagarin. What event in 1960 marked the beginning of Muhammad Ali's professional boxing career? The fight of the century, the rumble in the jungle, or the thriller in Manila? It was the fight of the century. The Cuban Missile Crisis was resolved between which two leaders? John F. Kennedy and Fidel Castro, Nikita Khrushchev and Mao Zedong, or John F. Kennedy and Nikita Khrushchev? It was John F. Kennedy and Nikita Khrushchev. What economic phenomenon was a defining feature of post-World War II era? The recession, stagflation, or economic expansion? It was economic expansion. What did Wilt Chamberlain accomplish during a single game in 1962? Did he score 100 points? Did he make 23 pointers? Or did he complete a quadruple double? He scored 100 points in the game. What iconic TV show debuted in 1951 and became a symbol of American family life in the 1950s. That television show was Leave It to Beaver. What did the United States achieve in ice hockey at the 1960 Olympics? Did they earn the silver medal, the gold medal, or the bronze medal? In 1960, they earned the gold medal. Which poem was written by Allen Ginsberg? The Catcher in the Rye, On the Road, or was it Howell? And he wrote Howell. True or false? The dominance of the European Union was associated with the economic prosperity of the post-World War II era. Is that true or is it false? And that would be false. The dominance of the European Union was associated with the economic prosperity of the post-World War II era. Who was the President of the United States during the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962?
and the President of the United States was John F. Kennedy. In what U.S. state did the integration of Little Rock Central High School take place? Was that in Arkansas? Was it in Mississippi? Or did it take place in Alabama? It took place in Arkansas. What space agency played a role in the Apollo moon missions? Was it Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, ESA, the European space agency, or was it NASA? It was NASA. Who was the legendary Ethiopian long distance runner in 1960? Hale Gerbesalasi, Janessa Bekele, or Abebe Bekila? It was Abebe Bekila. Audrey Hepburn starred in the 1961 film adaptation of what novella? The Grass Harp, In Cold Blood, or Breakfast at Tiffany's? And that movie was Breakfast at Tiffany's. What was the primary cause of the Vietnam War in the 1960s? Expansion of communism in Southeast Asia, religious conflicts in the region, or economic disputes between North and South Vietnam? Expansion of communism in Southeast Asia. Marilyn Monroe was known for her roles in which film genre? Musicals, westerns, or film noir? And it would be film noir. Who was Billie Jean King's opponent in the Battle of the Sexes? Was it John McEnroe? Was it Arthur Ashe? Or was it Bobby Riggs? Her opponent was Bobby Riggs. What aspect of I Love Lucy contributed to its success on future television sitcoms? Live studio audience, multi-camera setup, or the use of color television? And it was the multi-camera setup. What was the name of the first artificial satellite in 1957? Was it the Explorer 1? Was it Sputnik 1? Or was it Vanguard 1? It was Sputnik 1. Who demanded black power in 1966? Was it James Meredith? Was it John Lewis? Or was it Stokely Carmichael? It was Stokely Carmichael. What year did the Apollo 2 mission take place? Did it take place in 1961, 1969, or 1972? The Apollo 2 mission took place in 1969. What classic film in 1959 directed by Alfred Hitchcock features a suspenseful plot centered around espionage and mistaken identity? And that would be North by Northwest. Who was the inventor of the first practical computer mouse in the 1960s? Was it Douglas Engelbart? Was it Stephen Jobs? Or was it Bill Gates? And that was Douglas Engelbart. What events sparked the U.S. involvement in Vietnam? the North Vietnamese invasion of South Vietnam, attack on a U.S. naval vessel in the Gulf of Tonkin, or the signing of the Paris Peace Accords. And that was the attack on a U.S. naval vessel in the Gulf of Tonkin. Who is known as the Splendid Splinter? The splendid splinter is Ted Williams. 
who wrote the novel On the Road in 1957, William S. Burroughs, Jack Kerouac, or Allen Ginsberg. And it was written by Jack Kerouac. Who is the pop artist in the 1960s known for Marilyn Diptych? Pablo Picasso, Jackson Pollock, or Andy Warhol? And that was by Andy Warhol. Who sent the first successful message over ARPANET in 1969? Was it Charlie Klein? Was it Vinton Cerf? Or was it Tim Berners-Lee? The first successful message was by Charlie Klein over ARPANET. Which iconic American actor died in a car crash in 1955? Montgomery Clift, James Stewart, or James Dean? It was James Dean. Where did the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing in 1963 happen? Was that in Birmingham, Alabama? Was it in Jackson, Mississippi? Or was it in Memphis, Tennessee? Birmingham, Alabama. The space race involved a competition between which two countries? The United States and Soviet Union, the United States and China, or the United States and the European Union. That was a race between the United States and the Soviet Union. Who held the heavyweight title for a record-setting 12 years from 1937 to 1949? Was that Rocky Marciano, was it Joe Lewis, or was it Jack Dempsey? That's a record held by Joe Lewis. In which city does most of the novel, The Catcher in the Rye, take place? Is it Los Angeles? Is it Chicago? Or is it New York City? Most of it takes place in New York City. What technology in 1956 allowed users to play recorded music in a portable format? Is that the cassette tape? Is it the vinyl record? Or is it the transistor radio? That would be the cassette tape. Who was the first president of the newly established People's Republic of China in 1949? Mao Zedong, Chiang Kai-shek, or Sun Yat-sen? And that would be Mao Zedong. Who introduced the concept of containment during the Cold War? Was it George F. Keenan? Was it Winston Churchill? Or was it Joseph Stalin? And that was a concept by George F. Keenan. What film adaptation of a Harper Lee novel won three Academy Awards in 1962? Was it Inherit the Wind? Was it To Kill a Mockingbird? Or was it Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? And that would be To Kill a Mockingbird. What was the name of the first successful video game in the 1950s? Was it Pong? Was it Tennis for Two? Or was it Space Invaders? Well, the first successful video game in the 1950s was Tennis for Two. What social movement gained momentum in the 1960s? Was that the feminist movement? Was it the environmental movement or was it the civil rights movement? And that would be the feminist movement. The Freedom Riders in 1961 challenged segrega segregation on what mode of transportation? Was it the motorcycle? Was it trains? Or was it buses? It was buses. What was the purpose of the Mercury and Gemini programs in the space race? Was it moon landings? 
Was it Mars exploration or was it human spaceflight experiences? It was human spaceflight experience. Who was referred to as the Queen of Jazz? The Queen of Jazz is Billie Holiday. What social movement embodied the countercultural spirit in the 1960s? The Civil Rights Movement, the Hippie Movement, or the Anti Vietnam War Movement? It was the Hippie Movement. What company collaborated with Sony for the development of the compact disc, or CD? Was it Microsoft, was it Philips, or was it IBM? It was Philips. Who invented the World Wide Web, WWW? Was it Mark Zuckerberg, was it Larry Page, or was it Tim Berners-Lee? Who's responsible for all this? And that would be Tim Berners-Lee. What term is used to describe the rejection of mainstream values? Is it rebellion? Is it nonconformity? Or is it subversion? And that would be nonconformity. What is the dividing line between North and South Korea during the Korean War? Is it the 17th parallel, the Mason-Dixon line, or was it the 38th parallel? The dividing line was the 38th parallel. What movement in the 1950s rejected literary formalism? Was it the Beat Generation, the Victorian era, or was it Romanticism? It was the Beat Generation. The phrase, make love, not war, is associated with what social movement of the 1960s? The environmental movement, the anti-Vietnam War movement, or the civil rights movement? That was the anti-Vietnam War movement. Who is the king of late night and hosted The Tonight Show? The king of late night was and always shall be Johnny Carson. What event featured Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous I Have a Dream speech? The Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Montgomery bus boycott, or the March on Washington, D.C.? It was the March on Washington, D.C. What was the first unmanned spacecraft to land on the moon? Was it the Luna 2? Was it the Luna 9? Or was it the Luna 15? The first unmanned spacecraft on the moon? The Luna 2. What was a common slogan during the countercultural movement of the 1960s? Every man for himself. Power to the people. Peace, love, unity. The slogan was, Power to the people. What influential book challenged traditional gender roles in 1963? Was it Howell? Was it The Feminine Mystique? Or was it On the Road? And that book was The Feminine Mystique. Who is the legendary baseball player known as The Mick? Is it Mickey Mantle or Babe Ruth? The Mick <laughs> was Mickey Mantle. Number one counts too. What medical advancement had a profound impact on family planning in the 1960s? The birth control pill, antibiotics, or was it insulin? 
and that would be the birth control pill. What iconic TV show of the 1950s starred Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz as a married couple living in New York City? And that show was I Love Lucy. What did Roger Bannister accomplish in 1954? The fastest 100 meter sprint? The longest home run in baseball? or the very first sub-four-minute mile. He accomplished the first sub-four-minute mile. What is the spread of nuclear weapons, nuclear weapons technology? Is that the space race, nuclear proliferation, or mutually assured destruction? And that would describe the nuclear proliferation. What ruling in 1954 established racial segregation in public schools as unconstitutional? Plessy v. Ferguson, Roe v. Wade, or Brown v. the Board of Education? And that ruling was Brown v. Board of Education. True or false, the lunar module was a spacecraft that allowed the Apollo astronauts to land on the moon. Is that true or is that false? false. That is true. Which U.S. president signed the Interstate Highway Act into law in 1956? Was that Dwight D. Eisenhower? Was it Harry S. Truman? Or again, Dwight D. Eisenhower? You're 50-50 on this one. It's Dwight D. Eisenhower. If you pick number one, we'll count it. What company introduced the first practical videotape recorder in the 1950s? Was it RCA, was it IBM, or was it Sony? And that would be Sony. Who is known as the first lady of song? Sarah Vaughan, Ella Fitzgerald, or was it Billie Holiday? The First Lady of Song, Ella Fitzgerald. What innovation by IBM in 1956 revolutionized data storage and retrieval? The hard disk drive, the integrated circuit, or the transistor? It was the hard disk drive. Who coined the term Iron Curtain? Was that Joseph Stalin? Was that Winston Churchill? Or was it Franklin D. Roosevelt? That twist of a turn of a phrase, Winston Churchill's. Who developed the microchip or integrated circuit in the late 1950s? Was that Jack Kilby? Was it Alan Turing? Or was it John von Neumann? And that was developed by Jack Kilby. What is a classic dystopian novel written by Ray Bradbury that was published in 1953? Was it 1984, Fahrenheit 451, or A Brave New World? It was Fahrenheit 451. What was the first commercially available computer in 1951? Was it ENIAC, was it UNIVAC-1, or was it the IBM 701? That would be UNIVAC-1. What long-running TV Western series, featuring characters like Matt Dillon and Festus, aired from 1955 to 1975? And that was Gunsmoke. Who advocated for women's reproductive rights during the early 1960s? Was it Margaret Sanger? Was it Betty Friedan? Or was it Gloria Steinem? And that would be Margaret Sanger. 
What technology changed the entertainment landscape in the 1950s? Was it the telephone? Was it the radio? Was it television? It was television. Who is known as the Queen of Soul? Was that Diana Ross? Was it Etta James? Or was it Aretha Franklin? And that was Aretha Franklin. What country became a focal point of U.S. involvement during the Cold War? Was it Cambodia? Was it Laos? Or was it Vietnam? And that country was Vietnam. What played a significant role in the development of modern computers? The transistor, the steam engine, or the telegraph? And that would be the transistor. What social movement of the 1960s was marked by a series of protests against racial segregation? The women's liberation movement, the civil rights movement, or the anti-Vietnam War movement? And that would be the civil rights movement. What does UNIVAC stand for? United Nations Information and Verification Automatic Computer, Universal Variable Automatic Computer, or the Universal Automatic Computer. UNIVAC stands for Universal Variable Automatic Computer. What cultural movement in the 1960s was characterized by rejecting traditional norms? Romanticism, Renaissance, or counterculture? And that was counterculture. Which Hollywood star is known for her roles in films like Some Like It Hot? And that was Marilyn Monroe. And now question number 100. What was the name of Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous speech? And that speech was the I Have a Dream speech. And that's all we've got for you for now. Thanks for playing. Drop your scores in the comments, please. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring that notification bell. This is quiz time. We'll see you in the next one.